This is not just another announcement. It marks a turning point where hydrogen is moving from PowerPoint slides and ambitious roadmaps to real-world industrial integration. The refinery sector, one of the hardest industrial segments to decarbonize, is taking concrete steps toward replacing carbon-intensive gray hydrogen with renewable green hydrogen. Plug Power's electrolyzer delivery is more than a shipment of hardware, it is the start of a process that could reshape industrial hydrogen use in Europe and beyond. The Sines refinery is one of Portugal's most important industrial assets, strategically located on the Atlantic coast with access to shipping lanes and renewable energy infrastructure. Like most refineries around the world, it consumes large volumes of hydrogen for processes like hydrocracking and desulfurization. Traditionally, this hydrogen comes from steam methane reforming of natural gas, a process that produces significant CO2 emissions. Industry analysts estimate that hydrogen use in refineries globally accounts for nearly 2% of total global CO2 emissions. Decarbonizing this hydrogen stream is a critical step in achieving Europe's net zero targets. By installing Plug Power's electrolyzer, Gulp is beginning to address this challenge directly. The first 10 MW unit is expected to displace approximately 20% of the refinery's grey hydrogen demand, cutting both emissions and natural gas consumption. While 20% may sound modest, it represents a major shift when viewed in the context of a live refinery environment. Refineries are highly sensitive ecosystems. Every new input must be tested, balanced, and integrated without disrupting continuous operations. For a refinery to embrace green hydrogen, the technology has to prove itself reliable, flexible, and safe at scale. This is only the first step in a much larger project. Gulp's roadmap calls for the deployment of 10 identical 10 MW modules, building up to 100 MW of electrolyzer capacity at the science site. Once complete, the facility will be among the largest operational green hydrogen projects in Europe. The modular approach is critical. Instead of betting everything on a single massive electrolyzer installation, Gulp and Plug are building capacity in stages. This allows each unit to serve as a learning platform, with lessons on integration, water treatment, energy efficiency, and operations feeding into the deployment of the next unit. By the time the 10th unit is installed, Gulp will have accumulated years of operational experience and optimized its hydrogen integration processes. The technology underpinning this deployment is Plug Power's Gen Eco PEM electrolyzer system. Proton Exchange Membrane PEM, electrolyzers are particularly suited to coupling with renewable energy sources because of their flexibility. They can ramp up and down quickly, respond to fluctuations in renewable power output, and deliver high-purity hydrogen. In a country like Portugal, where solar and wind resources can vary by season and day, PEM technology provides the agility required to produce hydrogen economically and reliably. Unlike alkaline electrolyzers, which are often slower to respond to load changes, PEM units thrive in variable renewable environments. This makes them an ideal fit for projects like Signs, where integration with renewable electricity sources is a central part of the strategy. What makes this story particularly compelling is the way markets reacted. Following the announcement of the delivery, Plug Power stock surged by nearly 26%. For a company that has experienced volatility and skepticism over the years, this was a strong signal that investors respond to tangible milestones rather than theoretical roadmaps. It underscores the importance of moving beyond announcements and delivering hardware that can be installed, commissioned, and integrated into industrial systems. For project developers and investors alike, the signs delivery represents validation that electrolyzer technology is scaling from promise to practice. But the delivery of a 10 MW unit is only the beginning of a long journey. Integrating electrolyzers into a refinery environment is a complex and delicate process. It involves more than just connecting a piece of equipment to a power source and pipeline. Electrolyzers require ultra-pure water, which means water treatment and polishing systems must be installed and tested. They produce oxygen as a byproduct, which must be safely vented or captured. Hydrogen itself must be compressed, stored, and fed into the refinery's existing hydrogen network with careful monitoring and safety controls. The refinery must ensure continuous uptime, manage thermal loads, and adjust process parameters to account for the new hydrogen source. Each of these steps carries risks and requires careful engineering. The advantage of modular deployment is that each new unit becomes easier to integrate. Once Gulp has successfully commissioned the first 10 MW unit, it will have a template for integrating the next 9. Lessons learned on water quality, ramp rates, and commissioning timelines will allow subsequent units to be installed more quickly and at lower cost. This learning curve is one of the strongest arguments for modular scaling in hydrogen. 
It avoids the all-or-nothing risks of single large deployments and creates a stepwise path to industrial-scale hydrogen production. Credibility is further bolstered by Plug Power's operational track record in the United States. At its green hydrogen plant in Georgia, Plug has demonstrated monthly production of over 320 metric tons of hydrogen with uptime above 97% and availability near 99.7%. These numbers are not theoretical. They are operational data from a facility producing hydrogen day in and day out. They matter enormously to off-takers and financiers, who need proof that hydrogen plants can operate reliably over the long term. When Plug delivers an electrolyzer to a refinery like Science, it brings with it the credibility of having already achieved high-performance metrics at other sites. Financing is another critical element of the story. Earlier this year, Plug Power closed on a $1.66 billion loan guarantee from the U.S. Department of Energy to support construction of multiple hydrogen plants. While that guarantee applies to U.S. projects, it signals that institutional capital is becoming more comfortable underwriting large-scale hydrogen assets. For Europe, where similar projects will require billions in investment, the fact that a peer market has validated the business model is significant. It sets a precedent that lenders can follow and helps to risk the financing of European projects like Signs. What happens next at Signs will be closely watched by the industry. The first months of operation will reveal the electrolyzer's ramp curve, utilization factor, and efficiency under real conditions. Specific energy consumption will be a critical metric, as it directly influences the cost per kilogram of hydrogen produced. Integration with renewable power sources will also be scrutinized, particularly in terms of how the electrolyzer responds to fluctuations in solar and wind output. These performance indicators will inform not only Gulf's decision-making for future modules but also the broader industry's understanding of what large-scale refinery decarbonization looks like in practice. The Signs project also sits within a broader European strategy. Europe has set ambitious targets for hydrogen deployment, with the goal of producing 10 million tons of renewable hydrogen domestically by 2030. Industrial users like refineries and chemical plants are at the center of this strategy because they already consume large amounts of hydrogen. By swapping grey hydrogen for green, Europe can achieve fast emissions reductions while building the infrastructure and expertise needed for wider hydrogen adoption. The Signs Refinery Project is therefore more than a single industrial decarbonization effort. It is a demonstration of how Europe can leverage its renewable resources, industrial base, and policy framework to accelerate the hydrogen economy. Beyond the numbers and policy frameworks, there is also a symbolic importance to this delivery. For decades, hydrogen has been stuck in a cycle of hype and disappointment. Headlines proclaimed its potential, but real-world projects lagged far behind. The sight of a 10 MW electrolyzer being delivered to a major European refinery breaks that cycle. It shows that hydrogen is no longer just a technology of the future. It is a technology of the present, delivering real equipment to real industrial sites with measurable impact. That symbolic shift can be as powerful as the emissions reductions themselves, because it builds confidence among policymakers, investors, and industrial customers that hydrogen is here to stay. Of course, challenges remain. Hydrogen is still expensive compared to fossil fuels, even with falling renewable energy costs. Water supply and treatment can be limiting factors in certain regions. Policy frameworks, while improving, are still evolving and can create uncertainty for long-term investment. And the volatility of hydrogen equities reminds us that markets remain skeptical until profitability and cash flow stability are proven. But none of these challenges negate the significance of what is happening at Signs. If anything, they highlight why real-world projects are so important. They provide the data, experience, and operational lessons that the industry needs to overcome its challenges. The delivery of Plug Power's electrolyzer to Gulf is not just a milestone for Portugal or Europe. It is a milestone for the global hydrogen industry. It demonstrates that large industrial offtakers are willing to take the leap into green hydrogen, that technology providers can deliver equipment at scale, and that investors will respond positively to tangible progress. It points to a future where 100 MW deployments are not exceptional but routine, where modular scaling becomes the industry standard, and where hydrogen plays a central role in industrial decarbonization. For developers, consultants, and investors watching this space, the key lessons are clear. Start small but scalable. Focus on modularity to manage risk and accelerate learning. Integrate balance of plant systems early to avoid delays. Design for flexibility so that electrolyzers can follow renewable power curves. And above all, build credibility through execution rather than promises.
These lessons are not abstract. They are being written in real time at Signs, Portugal. As the hydrogen economy accelerates, moments like this will define the narrative. They will be the case studies cited in boardrooms, the examples used in policy debates, and the benchmarks against which future projects are measured. For now, the Signs Refinery and Plug Powers Electrolyzer stand as proof that the hydrogen transition is not just coming. It has already begun. If you are working on hydrogen projects or planning to enter this sector, now is the time to pay close attention. The tools, templates, and frameworks needed to translate headlines into actionable projects are available. At h2hub.renewenergy.com, you can find developer resources that guide you through feasibility analysis, techno-economic modeling, and financing structures. The future of hydrogen is being built today, and with the right knowledge, you can be part of it.